everyone i hope you all doing well with me so in the same sequence today we are going to talk about another most important topic of the cell biology that is cell membrane or the plasma membrane so first thing here is that what is exactly cell membrane so let me draw like this is the basic structure of a cell let's suppose this is the structure of a cell and this is the double membrane plasma membrane let's suppose this is the structure of nucleus then what about this portion this is extracellular matrix compartment this is cytoplasm portion and this is the structure of cell membrane now you can say what is cell membrane you can say cell membrane is a outermost covering of a cell that separate the extracellular matrix from the cytoplasm what is the extracellular matrix it is a aqueous compartment aqueous compartments means it having water now what about the cytoplasm it also have water in it so like plasma membrane is a outermost covering of cell that separate the extracellular aqueous compartment from the cytoplasmic aqueous compartment it help in the separation if we talk about the plasma membrane or cell membrane then this is if this is like 3d structure of a cell then this plasma membrane is not a rigid or not a static structure it is flexible structure means it is a fluid structure that is flexible that is able to move in it so this is a flexible and the fluid structure of plasma membrane here we are going to talk about like this is a small portion of plasma membrane in detail about the chemical composition and about the function of this plasma membrane in detail so what about this portion means what is the chemical composition of the plasma membrane chemical composition means which type of biomolecule they synthesize the plasma membrane or plasma membrane is made up of which type of biomolecule so the chemical composition of the plasma membrane is uh, mainly made up of two different components so these two component are first is the lipid molecule and the second is the protein molecule so which type of lipid molecule present in the plasma membrane so the phospholipid type lipid molecule they present in plasma membrane so let's talk in detail about the phospholipid molecule what is the exact structure of phospholipid molecule so the phospholipid molecule let me draw like this is phospholipid molecule is made up of two main component so which type of component present in phospholipid this is the head part of the phospholipid that head part is made up of collar component or you can say this is a hydrophilic compartment hydrophilic this is a hydrophilic compartment or the polar component so hydrophilic component means it is water soluble component head part of the phospholipid is made up of polar component or hydrophilic component that is water soluble component that is water soluble component now what about the second component the second component of the phospholipid molecule is the tail part tail part that is non polar in nature or you can say this is hydrophobic component what is the hydrophobic component exactly this hydrophilic means water soluble component means water loving component or water attractant component means this is water attractant component this is like water soluble component what about the tail part that is non non polar molecule or hydrophobic molecule hydrophobic hydro means water phobia means fear means afraid from water so this part or this tail part is hydrophobic hydrophobic means water repellent group of the phospholipid so overall you can say a phospholipid molecule is made up of two different component one is head part another is tail part head part is hydrophilic that is water soluble or water attractant group another is the tail part that is non polar or hydrophobic component that repel water so this is all about the single phospholipid molecule is that right now this is all about a single lipid molecule 
question is that how the different phospholipid molecule they combine with each other and they form a lipid bilayer because plasma membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer now how many different phospholipid molecule they combine with each other and they form a structure of plasma membrane that is bilayer that is present in the form of bilayer like this is all about a single phospholipid molecule now many different phospholipid molecule they arrange like this and they form a single layer so this is a single layer of phospholipid molecule but we know the phospholipid or the plasma membrane is made up of a lipid bilayer so here the head group is oriented toward extracellular matrix like this is as a arrange hoga like this the head group is arranged in the extracellular matrix and tail is arranged toward the cytoplasmic portion now what about the second layer in the second layer like this phospholipid molecule arrange like this and they form a lipid bilayer here the head group orient toward cytoplasmic portion and tail arrange in toward each other why they form a lipid bilayer why not a single layer why not micelle form why not in any other form why they form a lipid bilayer molecule and they arrange like this because you all know this is extracellular matrix here this is cytoplasm here both the environment are aqueous means water is present in the extracellular matrix water is present in the cytoplasmic matrix but this tail part that is hydrophobic in nature means it is water repellent group means this is water this is afraid from water so for the for the avoid the interaction of water for avoiding the interaction with water they orient themselves toward each other means the head part that orient toward the water group and the tail part for like avoiding interaction with water they orient toward each other and they form a lipid bilayer structure like this because here is water here is water for avoiding interaction with water they orient and they arrange like this and they form a lipid bilayer are you getting my point this is all about the lipid bilayer now and other than lipid there are many other component present in the plasma membrane structure some amount of cholesterol is also present in the lipid bilayer the second most important component of the plasma membrane is protein so what about the protein there are two type of proteins present in the plasma membrane one is peripheral protein so what is peripheral protein peripheral protein like this they present in the extra like on the membrane or the outer surface of the membrane they not completely embedded inside the phospholipid they present in the outer membrane so they are known as peripheral membrane because they present on the periphery of the membrane some protein they completely embedded inside the phospholipid they are known as integral protein because they completely integrated in the phospholipid molecule so this is known as integral protein so this is all about the protein present in some amount of carbohydrate also present in the structure of plasma membrane the carbohydrate may link with the this like uh, protein it may link with the lipid molecule so carbohydrate is also present here so this is all about the chemical composition of the plasma membrane are you getting my point? now what about the this structure like for the explanation of the complete structure of plasma membrane some model are given by the different scientists but, but the most important and widely accepted model that given by singer and nicolson two scientists singer and nicolson they give the widely accepted model of the protein in 1972 and they give the widely accepted model means they give the exact structure of plasma membrane this this model is known as fluid mosaic model fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane given by singer and nicolson in 1972 what is according to singer and nicolson model according to this model plasma membrane is not static it is a semi fluid in nature means protein is able to move inside this plasma membrane and like this is the fluid mosaic model structure of plasma membrane according to the fluid mosaic model
So this is the structure of fluid merging model. This is the lipid bilayer structure. This is some protein integrated or integral protein. They completely embedded inside the plasma membrane. So they are known as integral protein. Some protein are peripheral protein like this. This the peripheral protein they present on the periphery. This is sugar or the cholesterol molecule present inside the plasma membrane. So this is the fluid merging model of the plasma membrane given by Singer and Nicholson. According to this mem uh, mo like model, uh, plasma membrane is made up of lipid bilayer or the phospholipid bilayer, integral and peripheral protein, some amount of cholesterol and some amount of sugar and uh, cholesterol uh, like carbohydrate moieties. So this is all about Singer and Nicholson model. There are many functions performed by the plasma membrane. Uh, like uh, plasma membrane is selectively permeable in nature. It it transport air. It allow the transport of some molecule. It block the transport of other molecule. So this type of function performed by the plasma membrane that is known as membrane transport system that help in the transport of molecule across the plasma membrane. So about uh, this transport function we will study in our uh, next video lecture. So this is all about the structure of a plasma membrane.